Lusaka's city streets have long been an eyesore, its sidewalks covered with mounds of garbage. Previous strategies to remove the buildup of rubbish have been largely unsuccessful, but better results are hoped in future. A lot has been said about finding a lasting solution to this problem, but not much has been done, especially to my knowledge. We are here to review the efforts we have applied in the past to tackle the problem and see if there is anything we must do differently from what we have been doing in the past. The status of Zambia's capital city as an emerging business hub has helped create greater impetus to find a workable solution to the waste management problems. Authorities are concerned the unsightly garbage will scare away potential investors. I want to inform all of you, as we start discussing on how we can have a lasting solution, I want to declare war against the garbage. I want to declare a war against garbage, at least in Osaka province. Lusaka produces about a thousand tons of waste every day and an estimated half a kilogram is produced per person each day. However, an innovative recycling business is being launched. If, is, if it is successful, not only will it help rid the streets of the garbage, it will also produce green fuel, boosting the city's energy supply. We are in the process of improving on recycling of waste and material recovery from the waste stream so that we can add value to the waste, we can generate energy from the, from the waste and we can actually generate fuel from the waste and cut down on the cost of fuel. Despite authorities' best efforts, Osaka will lead its residents and businesses to get behind the drive. If this city streets are to be transformed into a cleaner, green and more attractive city. Robert Soy, CCTV.